And welcome back to Bobby's Scrapbook, which has been delving into the extraordinary rivalry that meetings between England and Scotland engender. Here's one that was again to decide the outcome of the 1979 Home International Championship. Wembley yet again the venue, England needing a win to claim the title. And Bobby, here's the England team with Ron Grieber, now the manager. Yes, uh, still, still a bigger influence there from Liverpool, but a really good inclusion, I think, is Phil Thompson, who has a really good stabilising effect on any defence. I, th I think he's a, a very good player indeed, he was at that time. Kevin Keegan up front brought a lot of heart as well to the strike force, and Bob Lashford scoring a lot of goals at league level. And an, an orthodox left winger in Peter Barnes. Um, maybe that's to give the service to Bob Lashford, who was particularly good in the air. And Scotland, Dennis? Well, to be fair for Scotland's point of view, you, as two years on, there are six changes from the team that played in 1977. And Jock Steen, of course, being the new manager, he was, in a way, rebuilding the team for the, and looking forward to the 82 World Cup. So this is very much an experimental, <laughs> another <laughs> experimental side for Scotland. I'll give you a clue, that. <laughs> 95,000 packed into the great stadium and no doubt wondering what the Scots have dreamt up this time. 79 was the year that Maggie became the Prime Minister and the great Muhammad Ali finally hung up his gloves. The commentator was David Coleman. Portugal check the watch and England kick off England if they win today take the British Championship Scotland need to win by six goals to win the championship and Frank Gray immediately penalized by a referee who clearly is going to stamp on any sort of physical contact it's not fact that uh, for the British Championship the England Scotland match a European referee, a referee from Central Europe, usually appointed. Paul Haggerty for Scotland. Mills, the pitch is tricky. Very heavy rain overnight all morning. That's Burley. Jordan. Mills back to Watson, who calls to Clemens. That's Neil. What a good ball and what a good run by Wilkins. Oh, he tried to lob the goalkeeper. And Woods is surely fouled by Laxford. But uh, Ray Wilkins' run there was a bit special. Well, oh, Bobby, the ball was in the net. Yeah, but it was a foul. I mean, it was um, a clumsy foul, really. <laughs> yeah. Bobby, there is no question whatsoever. The referee was... Look at that. I mean... Uh, that's so, your territory, yeah. uh, Dennis, isn't it? Yeah, but, I mean, that is, that's awful. Yeah, he did, yeah. <laughs> he did drop with the goalkeeper. Maybe well, if he'd have left him alone, he would have still scored. All yeah. Thompson wants the same ball. And you can see the water splashing out there as Graham eludes Neil. Dalvish! Graham! Dalvish! Oh, and they seem to have so, so much time. They were almost spoiled for choice. Graham for Scott. Sooners. Dalvish to Sooners. Space the shot. And it goes off an England defender for a corner. And Scotland took it with a part in defence then, with the England defenders having trouble on the slippy pitch. The 1 2 work set Sooners free. It ricocheted off the defender, and that was a very important touch. So, England escape. Sooners looks around at his colleagues as Dalgleish takes the corner. Oh! And thrown it away by Butch Wilkins on the line. Goalkeeper Clements couldn't get to that. They beat the England defenders, were swerving in, a brilliantly taken corner by Dalgleish, and Wilkins knocked it off the line. Sooners. That was walked back to his Ipswich clubmate, Burley. Neil for England. Couple skidded but still found Barnes. Keegan breaking on the right. Barnes going it alone. Right through the lot for the pass. Just too long. So England survive a problem at one end and then attack Scotland at the other. That corner kick was really so good and Clemens must have had claustrophobia then for the attention given him by McQueen. He missed it completely and Wilkins knocked it away. England. 
fascinating start to this international. Walk for Scotland. Young leash. Oh, he missed out. He was so anxious to get into grey, took his eye off the ball. Peter Barnes for England. Taking off McQueen and then choosing Neil. There's a touch there by a defender. And Latsford was almost there before goalkeeper Wood. The ball crossed. Wood went to it, but Latsford almost got there first. Thompson for England. Rookie. Barnes. Support from Mills. Rookie found space well. Haggerty just got there. But he hardly got there, but the ball hit him. There was space for the cross, though. It's Keegan. Haggerty's clearance. Jordan by himself. Oh! He left one too easily for comfort. Now he's got number two, Neil. England with defenders streaming back. And even Jordan's power wasn't enough, but that's Graham. Dudley's one nil ball. Well, Dennis, I think you were worth that goal at that point too, weren't well, you? it has been a good game, and England have played uh, well, but Scotland have uh, made two or three chances, uh, and again, it was made by Jordan, you know, he was such a, a fighter, and of course, when Johnson knocks it across, you think, well, they've all missed it here, but as Douglas just knocked it back there, there's John Walk to just put it into the end Terrific move. Yeah, well, I mean, you can criticise the England defence, it's come past a couple of players there, Two of them had a go at getting, getting it out in the in the failed miserably, really. Um, yeah, but I would put that down to bad defending, much as anything else. Jobstein pointing to uh, the centre of the defence. Looks as if he's pointing to something uh, and saying something to Hegarty. It's McQueen. Oh, that could have been awkward because poaching behind Watson was Graham. Now Jordan. deflection but that could have buried England Dalgleish with the corner oh McQueen got away from the markers and again another example of problems in the England defence Jock Steen looks such a lonely figure there and I think very few of the Scottish supporters have recognised that he's there it away Thompson again Harper to Jordan Gray and Jordan being spoken to by the referee I doubt if Jock Steen at the far end can see that because Jordan Knock the ball away to waste time. What's the Barnes? Wilkins. Keegan. Brookie. Good flick. Barnes behind him. Right there. And England have stolen one back. Well, Bobby, you'd said that Peter Barnes should have a shot earlier on, but he did shoot that time, and maybe you're lucky to get the goal. Yeah, but he, he did have a goal. He gets on this left foot, and it is a strong left foot, and he gets into the he gets the chance to have a, look, a sighted goal, and he should take the opportunity to have a go, and he doesn't. This is the first time he did it. He didn't hit it actually particularly well, but it went through and unsighted, I think, the goalkeeper in, and sneaked inside the post. Good time to score as well, as they always say, just before half-time. Yeah, 1-1, one, one, Dennis. <laughs> Scotland have played absolutely superb in yeah. the chances they've had, it could have been four or five, yeah. couldn't it? Yeah. So, to concede a goal like that, uh, is, from a Scottish point of view, of course, is not too good. Oh, he threaded his way through, and he's such a tantalising dribbler, it all seems so tentative, and the decision is a bad one by the referee, because that was clearly a corner. 
It all looks so tentative, this dribbling, but he just wriggles his way through, and the ball was certainly deflected by a Scottish defender. Really tantalises defenders when he attacks them like that. And the England appeal was justified, but the referee misplaced, really, to make a judgment. Jordan won it. He's just rolled off the pitch. The Argentinian linesman's in position for the corner and uh, walks back on. Clearly got the incentive to get back there as Dalgleish takes the corner. Oh, McQueen and Watson clash down and Watson got a knock in the back. Two giants in the air. Hartford with help from Sunis. Now Gray. Couple looking for the quick break. Keegan on for Latchford. He's very, very wide. He might have made the angle better. Support behind him now from Barnes. Number 11. He's found Mills. Push wide. Wilkins. from a quick break, uh, Bobby. Yes. Peter Barnes has caused him a little bit of trouble in, in this game, and uh, he's got good close control, and he is quite pacey, and he set this ball up, a quick change of play to the other side, and the ball inside the area. The shot of goals, the goalkeeper should have held it, didn't, and of course, we will pass strikers around, you know, then you're going to get punished. That's what happened. I think, as the commentator said, David Corbin there, England have stolen another. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he got it exactly right. <laughs> Neil Brocking just dubbing McQueen and was fouled. and the shooting opportunity so clearly off. Watson's header. Hartford. Gray. Hartford. Broke down thanks to Steve Topple's persistence. Keegan. Rookie breaking forward. Took the attention away from Keegan. There's the one, two. Well, that certainly wasn't a steal, was it, Dennis? No, no. I've got to be just in saying that that was a fine goal. Uh, he ran, must have ran, what, 50 yards, good play, knocks it through, goes, has the intelligence to go for the return, and a nice little side foot. No, I must say, but being English, that good was goal. a fine goal. Good goal. And Keegan's presence was being felt the whole time, wasn't he? He was put a lot more bite into the... Uh, yeah, the well, he's aggressive, and he's strong, and he's yeah. tough. You know, and, and he takes handling. And, uh, and of course, he, he'd roughed them up a little bit. He'd gone into the dangerous areas and they were struggling. Add to that, Trevor Brookin, who also, with, the, with his uh, playmaking, you know, also opened lots more avenues for England. Here we are, three minutes to go in the international. Scotland, 
losing by three goals to one, and they're still encouraging the players. Graham. Hegarty. Oh, and Latchford brushed him off. Where Latchford's real power counted, he's got McQueen to take on now. To Barnes, to Latchford. And the block by McQueen. Dalbleish. One of these players, and no wonder, looking tired. It's been a hard match out there, physically demanding. And they've certainly earned their match fees. Walk. Dalbleish. Moving with a bit more freedom. Found Hartford well. Watson. Good ball to Wilkins. Keegan's gone wide on the uh, right. Tremendous shot with Steve Cottle. Caught his foot as the uh, tackle went in. Jordan and Neil. now they're all looking at watches Bill Taylor there is uh, applied to the Derby County job as manager just uh, pull the sleeve of his tracksuit back checking up on everyone and I make it on my watch that we're now entering the last minute of the game as soon as now to Burnley as soon as Hegarty sign of tiredness there but Paul Hegarty there's no reason to be displeased with his first week in international football. It didn't start too well against Wales, but it's got better and better. Keegan. Wilkins. Brookie. Boy, is well robbed by Walk. Graham to Dalbleish. Soonest. Kenny Dalgleish checking up what's on. Hartford. Graham to Burley. Soonest. Jordan. Nothing's lost for Joe Jordan. Typical of the uh, fight that one sees in almost any Scottish side. John Walk, knew a week ago to international football, got the Scotland's goal today. And all's right with the world, as Bobby's just said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but on reflection, do you enjoy watching the games in which you were not playing, or those that you were in which you were playing? Which do you enjoy most? Well, first of all, I don't enjoy the games that I've played in myself watching it. No. You don't? No, I don't know. I get embarrassed to actually mm. look at it. So I, I never watch uh, myself playing. But mm. The only time I see it was when we're down here. Mm. I, 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 I like them all. Yes. I used to like watching the ones we play. It's always interesting, something to pick up that you didn't see before. And, and I like watching new players and new techniques. I, I like watching them all. I like England-Scotland matches because you know they're never going to be boring, whatever happens. <laughs> yeah. You know, the sparks will be flying and there'll be controversy right, left and centre. And yeah, they're just great. They're just great. That was a good game. Yeah. yeah. It was apart, a good apart, game. Apart, apart yeah. from the, the crossbar incident and the, the taking away of, of the grass. Um, <laughs> in, in the 77. Know, yeah, I, I love them. Yeah. I, I, love, I love the Scotland. What is your greatest memory of England-Scotland, uh, Dennis? I think the 67 game, yeah. you know, when, you know, to be proud to play for your country, oh, but, yeah. to, you win. know, to play against the world champions, you know, on their own ground and go and beat them. All right, they had a couple of injuries, but to actually go and beat them, I would say mm. that that would probably be one of the best. Mm. Yeah. 
That, that, would, that would have been mine too if I was Scottish. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you had your not. Before. What is your greatest memory then? Well, I don't know. I don't, that, there's lots really. I, I enjoy most matches. Mm. I enjoyed my first match against Scotland. Uh, I, en I enjoyed scoring the only goal when we beat Scotland 1 0 at Wembley. And uh, I enjoyed the 9 3. I didn't enjoy all the 9 3 because early for a lot of the time, you know, it was, it was mm. easy for us. Mm. But I enjoy, I enjoy all the games. I must be honest though, when we play at Hamden, I always feel pretty good if we, if we came away there yeah, well, from there with the spoils. Yeah. Dennis, thanks very much indeed for joining us again. Thank it's so you. good to see yeah. you. It's been great, <laughs> great again. Yeah. And we look forward to your company next week. Until then, from all of us here, goodbye. <laughs>